Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the hash rates of this 3080, 12 gigabyte. Before we get started, a little bit about this GPU. So the exact GPU that I'll be testing is the EVGA RTX 3080, 12 gigabyte for the Win 3 graphics card. And the first thing I was wondering is like, how does this card stack up to the 10 gigabyte that came before and even the 3080 Ti, which also came before it. So over on NVIDIA's website, they have that information. What you're looking at are the stats for the 3080 Ti on the left side here, you can see that. And then on the right-hand side is the 3080 split between both the 12 gigabyte, which will be on the left side and the 10 gigabyte, which will be on the right side. So let's look at just that first. So what you can see as far as CUDA cores, the 12 gigabyte has more CUDA cores that share the same boost clock and little differences in the base clock. As we go down there, we already knew that it has two gigabytes more of the same type of memory, that's GDR6X memory. But the other big change that it has is the memory interface width. It's got a 384 bit versus a 320. So if you step back and look at this, the memory of the 3080 12 gigabyte is the exact same setup on the 3080 Ti. The differences then between the 3080 12 gigabyte and the 3080 Ti are all in relation to the GPU itself and you can see the CUDA cores and the boost and base clocks are different. So that's a little bit about these cards. I'm gonna test the 3080 versus the 3080 Ti in a future video. So please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get testing the hash rates of this GPU. All right, let's get started. You're looking at my Hive OS right now and I'm mining Ethereum on this 3080 12 gigabyte at the lowly 64 mega hash per second because there's no miner that does any type of LHR unlock for this GPU right now. But what you can see is above me on the screen is the wattage being pulled in line over PCIe, doing 213 watts right now. And the overclocks I'm using are up there, 1400 lock on the core and 2200 on the memory. The other thing that I'm doing a little differently is I'm using a different miner than you might expect. I'll switch over to the shell. You can see I'm using Team Black Miner, which is kind of like a newer mining uh, miner in the scene. I'm not using T-Rex, that was giving me terrible performance because it's trying to do LHR unlock stuff on this card, which just doesn't work. So Team Black Miner seems to be the best miner currently if you want to mine Ethereum on this 3080 12 gigabyte. Ergo is up next, currently doing 242 mega hash on this 3080 12 gigabyte. Overclocks I'm using are exactly the same that I was using on Ethereum, so 1400 on the core lock and 2200 on the memory. And in line, the meter is telling me I'm pulling 206, 204 watts right now, though it did just spike up a little bit, which is weird, but I'll take the averages out over time and we'll look at all that stuff at the end. Raven and Fear are up next. They're both based on the ProgPow algorithm, so they're performing exactly the same. Right now, I am getting 58.18 mega hash per second mining Raven coin. The overclocks are a little different than Ethereum and Ergo. I have the memory the same at 2200, but instead of locking the core clock, which I tried, I have just the core bumped plus 200. This GPU just really seems to do well if it's just let loose, full tilt, so it's doing that amount of mega hash currently with 363 watts being pulled at the wall using T-Rex Miner. Last one is Fluxo. 79.62 solutions per second is what you see right now. Overclock's a little bit different than what I was using before. So I have the core clock locked again. This time at 1450, so 50 more than when I was on Ethereum and Ergo. And then the memory is the same across everything that I've tried right now at 2200. So for that 79.62 solutions per second, Currently doing 247, 246 watts mining flux, and I'm using Mini Z Miner. I tried G Miner, but Mini Z is way more stable on the wattage being pulled over the PCIe than G Miner. So I would highly recommend this if you're going to be mining flux with this graphics card. Spreadsheet time. So here's all that data put together. I mined over several days on all these algorithms. I just took averages in both mega hash and wattage that was being pulled and put it in here. So this should be pretty accurate, at least for this specific GPU that I have right now. The overclocks are there as well in case you need it. And though this data doesn't do much standing by itself, hopefully it's useful for you if you're gonna compare this car's performance versus any other GPU that you might have or you might be looking to get. What I'm really looking forward to doing is comparing this 3080 12 gigabyte to a few other GPUs in its class. The most obvious one is comparing it to the 3080 10 gigabyte, the original run of the 3080, but I also think there's something to be said for comparing this card to the 3080 Ti and even the 3090 on some of its altcoin performance. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So subscribe to the channel for future videos comparing this GPU, putting it head to head versus some of those other graphics cards. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. As always, please take care of yourself. 
take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.